Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Brianna, and as you can tell from the title down below, I will be making a backdrop inspired by the 90s, early 2000s. So yeah, stick around to the end to hear my tips and tricks that I learned along the way because this was a failed DIY. It didn't come out the way I wanted to completely, so I do plan on redoing this. Um, I'm not sure when or what material or what color, but yeah, it was a failed DIY, but nonetheless, I still loved it and it was still fun making. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and give me some feedback in the comments section down below and don't forget to subscribe and give it a like if you enjoyed the video. Blue, white, red, what you want? Red, like I want. My eyes hurt. Stop. They look red. Yeah, they are, because we dry as fuck. <laughs> Did you just push that on me? No, my eyes are right here. I would have pushed it, I would have pushed all of them. It just fell. <laughs> um. Okay, so then. <laughs> Joseph is literally no help. He's like the little kid, <laughs> the lost kid that won't stop following me. <laughs> I wish you would. I fucking wish you would. Babe. Come back. Joseph is drunk. We just came from Hooters. Just like a block away from here. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm really wanting like maybe a red. Um, a red or a navy blue. I'm not sure. And my assistant is nowhere to be found. And he is no help. Okay, so. I'm tired. No, but for those little background do we get? Should we get like a bandana? Oh, that'd be too busy. Oh, no, 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 we can't do that. Yeah, we can't. Okay, so we have come to the conclusion that we want blue. One of these. <laughs> the other blue. <laughs> the other blue, honey, just like your shirt. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now? Okay, wait, get the basket. Yeah, about that long. Okay. There's so much stuff. I just want to shop for everything. I have a love-hate relationship with Hobby Lobby. I love it, but my wallet hates it. And here we are in the canvas section. We're gonna pick up some canvases because we like to do wine and canvases at home. Right, hun? Yes, ma'am. So now that we are home, I am going to go ahead and start on the project because I can't wait. Joseph's actually going to go to sleep because he hasn't slept all day. Um, he just kind of got out of work. And that's my dog drinking water very loud, so. Cut. That's okay, Drogo. Take your time. Okay, so now that Drogo is done drinking water, <laughs> now that you're hydrated, okay, so I forgot what I was saying, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start this. Um, Joseph is going to sleep. I am going to start the process. First, I'm going to iron it. Um, yep, that's nice and hot. 
gonna iron it and I'm gonna go ahead and do it inside the house as quietly as I can that way Joseph doesn't get mad because obviously spray paint is going to um, stink up your house and it's not recommended but I am impatient and bored and I can't wait so I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> um, yeah so I'm gonna do it anyway um, Texas is supposed to get some pretty crazy weather next week, or not even next week, like in a couple days. Supposedly it's supposed to get snow, like very, a lot of snow. So, um, I don't know how true that's going to be, but Texas weather is pretty crazy. So, especially the part where I live in. So, I actually, um, I wouldn't be too shocked if we get snowed in. So, yeah. I'm going to probably be doing this project inside the house, which is probably not recommended, especially on your kitchen countertop with spray paint. But um, I have a lot of coverage and, and like extra pieces like um, table covers. I'm just going to spread out on here and, you know, cover everything else. I'm just going to do a little piece at a time and see how it goes. So wish me luck. I got this little square. Um... It's just like a little trial piece for me. I asked the lady at Hobby Lobby if she can cut me an individual little square just like so I can practice on before I actually did it on the real thing because I don't want to mess up my fabric. So I will give you all an update here in a bit. Okay guys, so I am back with a little progress update. I went ahead and changed into some comfortable clothes and clothes that I don't mind staining if it does get stained. I put on my gloves and I put a plastic bag under the piece of fabric that I'm working with to that specific spot. And I also have um, some extra cardboard here, some really big pieces of cardboard that I'm just like kind of using, helping to like guide and keep it as clean as possible because you know spray paint kind of just floats like a cloud and forms a cloud, a messy cloud, so I don't want it to get anywhere, specifically on my countertop, so yeah. Um, yeah, and so speaking of doing it on my countertop, I do not recommend you do it in your kitchen on your countertop, like at all. But if you are, um, yeah, take extra precaution, girl. Cover everything because <laughs> the shit gets everywhere. It's like a little cloud right now. I don't, I doubt you could see it, but yeah, I could see it and I could smell it. So I'm only going to do um, what I've done so far and I'm just going to keep it to that. So yeah. And as for the spray paint, I'm just using this cheap little spray paint from Walmart. I think this is actually like the cheapest one because this is the same one that my sister and I bought. When we went to Cadillac Ranch a couple months ago, we just went to Walmart and I bought a whole bunch of um, cheap spray paints, and this is one of them. I'm, I am going to be doing white, and this is the only color that I'm going to be doing because it pops more, and yeah, it just looks nicer. Nicer. Nighter. <laughs> I meant to say nicer. So yeah, let me just show you all what I have done so far and what I'm going to be doing um, for the rest of the night. I'm just going to leave it because yeah it stinks <laughs> okay so again this is a spray paint it's a super cheap one this is one of the first stencils that I started off with um, and then I made these out of cereal boxes so yeah this is what it is um, this right here is going to be an asterisk and then here's a heart here's another heart and then these are just extra pieces of cardboard that I'm going to use like to box off the area that I'm working with so it helps um, with the cleanup and it also helps not get everywhere. So yeah, that's what I'm using these random pieces for. And look who wants to play. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm working with. And this is my little update. Like I said, this is all I'll be doing for the night. It's coming out pretty light, really light. I don't know if that's the spray paint and the material or it's just the spray paint or it's just the material. But this is what I have so far. And this really, really bled. I think I went into this with a very heavy hand and that's where I'm messing up. So I'm just gonna leave it for the night and pick up tomorrow with Joseph. Drogo, can you hush? I'm trying to record here, dude. <laughs> He's hyper, guys. I'm going to go out and play with him for a bit before I call it a night. Well, I'm not even tired, but I'm done with this project for the night. So, yeah, let's hang out. I'm going to play with him. 
before it gets too cold. Even Lola is out. They just want some attention. <laughs> you want some attention too? Okay. Yeah, even Lola wants some loving. So what I'm going to do is play with him for a bit. Since he makes the most noise and Joseph's asleep. Then I'll come chill with you, okay girl? Okay. Okay, but why is that cleaner than mine? <laughs> no, it is not. Is this just what Joseph did? He fucked it up. Oh my gosh, now we're keeping the... What did you say? We got a cloud. <laughs> we got a cloud. I made a cloud. It was supposed to be a heart, but it's a cloud. A for effort, babe. A for effort. Okay, so since Joseph kind of messed up that last part, I went ahead and took over, and this is a little update. So it's not really coming out the way we expected it to, the way I expected it to. As you can see, I went out of the lines a little bit right here. It's not that perfect, but I'm really, really hoping that when we actually take the pictures, it won't show so much. So, fingers crossed because, yeah, I'm kind of over this shit now. It's a little more difficult than I thought. Here is a little progress update. I've done half. Now I am just waiting for this first half and all these to um, fully dry. Then I'm going to give it a second coat and clean it up a bit. As you can tell, it's a little blurry, but I'm working on it. They're drying at their own pace. And then I will see how late it takes me um, to finish this half fully, and then I will do the rest. Okay, you guys. i got my little roach antennas here in the front. So I am ready as far as hair and makeup goes. I will change here in a bit. I'm just going to go and iron the backdrop one last time and then hang it up and then Joseph should be ready by then and then we'll see you here in a bit. Okay, so here's our finished product. It's hung up and we just need to straighten it out a bit and maybe steam it a little bit just on the edges. And yeah, well, it's picture ready. We are now working on our new <laughs> project. We're getting him some pictures too. So we moved our little backdrop over here in this corner. But he's not cooperating anymore and he wanted to be in our pictures so bad, right babe? And now he's just not wanting to cooperate. He's going to try and get him to cooperate over there. And I will be here cleaning up and making some dinner. So now we're just looking at our pictures that we took. Joe was there eating over there. You can't hear him. He's so loud. Our dog is so extra. He always does this. Place. I know, at the most inconvenient times, he's super loud. Like, he's normally not that loud, but. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just gonna look through the pictures, wait for dinner to be done. Probably play with him since he's so hyper. And yeah, I'll clean up because we have a mess. Just real quick before I wrap up this video, I just wanted to get on here and give you all some tips for anybody that's wanting to recreate this backdrop or do anything similar. So, um, tip number one is going to be, do not be like me. 10 out of 10 would not recommend you doing this in your kitchen on your countertop. Just don't do it guys. <laughs> so, the reason why I did this, and I don't know, I don't remember if I did it in the, if I said this already in the beginning of the video, but it's snowing here in Texas, like the whole state is under like blizzard watch, so 
I'm not going to be outside freezing my ass off trying to do this, but I didn't want to wait either. So yeah, it kind of bit me in the ass when it happened, but so what happened was I did have like a protective barrier, right? But since I was going to do it in little sections, I, I don't know what happened, I just forgot and I forgot to put my little trash bag, that's what I was using as my barrier. So yeah, I forgot to do that and I got ahead of myself and I started doing different sections and you know. So then I lifted it to just help it dry a little bit, which also was a no. And I had a spot here on my kitchen counter, which really sucks because it kind of dried and yeah, I had um, a lot of trouble taking it out. It's, for the most part, it's out already, and on my countertop, it kind of has like specks of white anyway, so you can't really see it, but I know it's there, so it bugs me, and yeah, so don't be like me, guys. <laughs> Do it outside. Plus, it gets your house really, really, um, plus it gets your house really, really smelly, like, that shit is strong. So, yeah, avoid it. Just don't do it in your house, but if you absolutely have to, make sure you cover, you have a good barrier and you cover the whole thing. So, that's my first tip. My second tip is going to be gloves. Specifically for you ladies with your nails done, always wear gloves. Don't forget your gloves. I didn't do it one time, and I don't have my nails done anyway, but I did have them grown out really pretty, and I had them all painted with nail polish, and they were looking cute, but not anymore. I just... Um, took off the nail polish and an attempt to take off the spray paint and continue like I continued to wash my hands like constantly and yeah finally it came off um, but I just have my little nugs now so yeah I filed all my nails down so now I don't have any nails so yeah not cute don't do it don't forget the gloves so the last tip that I want to give you all is going to be probably the best one because it obviously, um, it, this is an important one guys, so the last tip is going to be to do your, um, do when you're doing your sections, just do one piece at a time and be very patient with it. Do one layer of spray paint, li uh, like a light layer, and then leave it alone for a couple minutes, maybe like three to five minutes, let it dry completely, come back to it. And make sure your barrier is underneath that, okay? So then you're going to want to do a second coat and just keep the process, keep on repeating that same process until you get the color that you want. Um, for example, I used white paint on a blue backdrop, so I just kept doing it until I felt the white heart was white enough. So yeah, towards the end anyway. So as you saw earlier in the, the clip that shows where Joseph messed up, and it looks like a tie-dye heart cloud looking thing. Yeah, you don't want that to happen, so go light on the layers and do layers. But let in between those layers, let it dry completely. Don't mess with it, don't lift the stencil, whatever stencil you're using. Um, for example, I use just cereal boxes, so don't lift up the box, don't, I mean, you know, don't lift it up, leave it down, and then come back to it. Because that will also affect the shape of it, and you don't want that to happen either. Um, so yeah, that helps really with the preciseness in it, so yeah. So those are my tips for you all, and if you liked the video, which I hope you did, I hope you I hope you liked our video. It was our failed attempt, but it was really fun. We had a really good time doing it, so I hope you enjoyed it, and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for some more fun videos that I have coming up. Also, I did upload our pictures onto Instagram, so I will leave my username down below, so go check it out and show some love on that. We had a really good time doing this. I really hope you all, um, couples or just friends, recreate this. Um, it was really fun, and if you do use like the same backdrop um, and the same like technique that I did, except the countertop, of course, um, tag me in it on Instagram. I would love to see it. Or tag your YouTube down below if you do a video out of it. I would love to see the outcome of it. And I will see you on the next one. Be safe, guys. Bye.